GCSE Physics Practical, measuring the force on a conductor and applying Fleming's left-hand rule. In the picture, conventional current flows through the magnetic field along the aluminium rod from left to right. The field is away from us from north to south and is lifting the bar up using Fleming's left-hand rule. The bar is heavy and doesn't lift, so using Newton's third law, action and reaction are equal and opposite, the magnet is pushed down. Reading the mass off the balance and multiplying by g, you can find the force being applied. Now you need to read the length of the rod actually in the magnetic field. Converting everything to SI units, that's grams to kilograms, uh, centimetres to metres, and using the form F equals BIL, or rearranging the form F equals BIL, you can calculate the value of the magnetic field strength. There is often confusion between the symbols I and L in this formula, so be careful. It turns out that the strength of this magnet, a fairly typical laboratory magnet, comes in at about 0.22 Tesla. For comparison, strong rare earth magnets come in at about just over one Tesla.